Hello again. Today we're going to examine how easy it is to deploy the Remote Desktop Reporter Agent components to RDS and Citrix servers, physical workstations, and virtual desktops. By deploying the Remote Desktop Reporter Agent, you get full access to a wide variety of performance metrics, such as CPU and memory use by session and by process, TCP UDP connections by session and by process, plus the ability to record session performance history and, as needed, session screen captures. Installation of the agent service is remarkably simple. You can install it manually, or you can push it out as an unattended installation package to your servers using command line arguments. The only prerequisites required to already be on the machine are either the .NET 3.5 or .NET 4.0 framework. There is a shortcut to the folder that contains the Agent Installer Package under the Remote Desktop Commander Program Group in the Start menu. Select that folder and Windows Explorer will open up to the Installer Package. Simply run this Installer Package on each server and workstation on which you want to monitor performance metrics. Of course, if you'd like to deploy the agent automatically in an unattended fashion, using management software you already utilize in your network, that's easy to do as well. The Remote Desktop Reporter Agent Deployment Guide, also available from the Remote Desktop Commander Program Group, discusses how to do this in depth. Once you've deployed the agent, you can use registry key values to control its behavior. Again, all of these values are discussed in the Remote Desktop Reporter Agent Deployment Guide. The most important registry value is the Capture Interval value. This is the number of milliseconds the agent service waits before it pulls performance metrics on the local system. The default is 30,000, or 30 seconds. If you extend this value up to 60,000 for one minute, or even 120,000 for two minutes, you will dramatically reduce the database storage needed for the agent data. However, the trade-off is that the collected performance data will be less granular. Of course, you can also control the amount of database storage required by adjusting agent data retention policies in the Remote Desktop Reporter admin client. If you are using the default SQL Server Express database, space is highly limited so you may be only able to keep one day's worth of agent data in the database at any time. For best application performance and data retention, we recommend using a full version of Microsoft SQL Server with the agent components. Once the agent service has been deployed, the main remote desktop reporter installation will start collecting this performance information alongside the other session metrics it has already been gathering without the agent. When agent data is being collected into the database, you can use all of the performance-related and session recording dashboards in the Remote Desktop Commander client. Recent data collected by the agent service on your monitored systems and quickly shows the performance impact of each user session on the server at large in terms of CPU and memory use. You can sort the monitored systems by a variety of factors, like session count or CPU load. If you see any session of interest, just click on it in the graph, and you can review the entire recorded performance history of the session, examining which processes are using the most memory and CPU, and what network connections have been made in the user session.
There are a variety of other dashboards available that allow you to look quickly at average and peak memory and CPU usage statistics across all user sessions, including the special Services Win Station, and also see similar sorts of data by individual process. You can print an ad hoc report out by clicking the printer button at the bottom right hand corner of the dashboard, and you can also schedule these exact same reports to be generated each day as needed. Use the reports and dashboards to quickly get a read on which users and which programs have the biggest performance impact on your systems. If you deploy the optional in-session agent process via a login script, you can also make the remote desktop reporter agent capture session screenshots at routine intervals, which you can review and print out for auditing purposes. We'll discuss how to do that in an upcoming video, and further information can be found in the remote desktop reporter agent deployment guide mentioned previously. Lastly, you can search for sessions that match certain activity, such as port activity, program use, or window captions. Once the search results are displayed, double-click on any recorded session to examine it further.